What the fuck is going on, y'all? Thanks for tuning into my channel and stuff. I'm a fucking old rambling man, and why the fuck do you want to look at me, right? So, I'm a night watchman and shit, so don't fucking mind why I'm all furtive in the cut, in the dark, harboring an unrelenting need to kill with no apparent motive lurking in the distant abysmal fog. And, uh, yeah, so thanks for tuning into my channel, and holy fuck, man, did I have a crazy-ass fucking dream, and thanks for fucking being aboard and listening to my rambling, incoherent fucking nonsense, man. <laughs> fucking, um, all I fucking talk about is my lucid dreams and sleep paralysis shit, and, uh, I think the scientific term for it is like hypnopomia, like the worst case scenario, is sleepwalking, and then there's a bunch of religious lore behind this shit, sleep paralysis and what the fuck not is a fucking confirmed phenomena, it's not made up, it's not some fucking flat earthers making some shit up and fucking cutting crop circles, I experienced the shit firsthand, maybe you're fucking interested in it, I'm not about that creepy pastas or fiction shit, I'm a really boring ass guy, except for when it comes to this kind of shit, because I don't like fucking fiction, I just sit there and watch fucking documentaries, I'm fucking old, all my friends are gentrified douchebags now, and they're fucking married, so thanks for letting this old man fucking ramble at you, so here we fucking go. Again, so like I was saying, uh, I ramble a lot to fill the fucking time, man, why the fuck do you just want to stare at nothing, you know? So, it's better than looking at my fugly ass. Uh, I'm always talking about how I respect your opinion. If you don't want to believe in a fucking esoteric, religious, fucking uh, superstitious mumble-jumbo, and you're about trying to scientifically rationalize, like, oh, sleep paralysis isn't demonic or paranormal, or lucid dreams isn't somewhere you're really traveling to another dimension. Like, for example... Um, I'm always saying the same shit. Look up, like, Ayahuasca Trip to Hell by, I think it's Digital Grizzly. Look up, um, Steve-O. Steve-O had an account of where he, like, fucking damn near overdosed on drugs and started seeing crazy shit. Uh, look up a guy named C.G. Kid who advocates people getting off of drugs of his salvia trip. Um... Here's some near-death experiences. Look up a guy literally named Howard Storm and another guy named Ronald Reagan. And that they they uh, talked about how they experienced a negative afterlife, car a negative karmic endeavor, and a near-death experience. And the reason why I believe in them is because charlatans like Bill Weiss, I could fucking... Some dude, he wrote the 23 Minutes of Hell. He's a fucking charlatan. This motherfucker comes at you trying to snake oil salesman your ass into believing a bunch of shit, taking advantage of other Christians by just assaulting them with a bunch of fucking uh, biblical scriptures to try to fucking make it an axiom that he's not lying. And that tells me he's fucking lying. He's a piece of shit. Whereas I could sift out and really realize whether you want to believe it's a hallucination or not. These people are just a hallucination. These fuckers, um... They seem genuine to the fuck core to it fucking puts uh, the hair standing up on my fucking goosebumps fucking status. Because uh, they're telling you, you can fucking tell right off the bat when someone is going through bit by bit, play by play of what the fuck they experience. Again, whether you want to believe it's just a hallucination or it's really paranormal or not, it's pretty fucking freaky. And they also, they're pretty vague about their vivid fucking experience. About, like, when you want to ask them, whoa, what do demons look like? Or, or oh, what did the fifth element of fucking Zozo's third nut fucking feel like? Or whatever the fuck. And they more focus on the negative, karmic, uh, happenstances or cho choices that wound them up in uh, a supposed negative atmosphere. You get the fucking point. Um, again, I was going to talk about how, if you watch Steve-O talk about his fucking, it's like on Joe Rogan podcast, about how he, he uh, had a really bad trip that he feels like it was a real spiritual endeavor, because what he said about um, <coughs> the human brain can erode away the walls of this reality and see other dimensions, 
It makes sense. They got motherfuckers talking about string theory nowadays and all this. There's some fucking credence. Also, look up the shit, the plight against uh, CERN in Switzerland. All this fucking shit that I could barely understand. I'm just fucking telling you off the bat. You could believe me or not. You could believe I'm fucking a quack. Sure. So, anyway, here we go. I had the most craziest motherfucking fuck yeah dream. And I gotta document this shit because I'll forget fucking shit. I already forgot fucking half of it. So, let me take this sip of coffee. This shit was fucking surreal, man. So... I couldn't... I couldn't... Like, one second of this dream... I'm really living it. In the next second of this dream, I feel like it's a fucking movie and shit. I'm just an actor. <sighs> but um, I'm not saying I went to a spiritual realm or nothing because... I mean, unless I hit up, hit up my homeboy on Facebook and he had the same dream... I'm gonna fucking say that that shit is a motherfucking goddamn dimension. But I'm sure he didn't have the same dream, so it's just in my own head. So, anyway. Bro, so I'm in this, like... I'm in this world... It's first it starts off at like a gloomy beach. It's like a gray sky. It's fairly cold <sighs> And for some fucking reason I'm there with a bunch of other people and uh, It's like the apocalypse and shit. It's like toward the end of a world where Shit is gonna get fucking overrun. So I believe it's like the dream started out where there's this mega fucking tsunami coming right and um, me and a bunch of people are cleaving to this heavy plant so that fucking uh, the waves just wash over us and hopefully we can survive, right? And um, a bunch of people are gripping this plant. I'm trusting in my strength and shit. You know, I'm kind of strong at like bent over rows or cable machines at the gym and shit like that, right? And fucking... Um, uh, what else? Um, so it's like the end of a world fucking endeavor. It's like a big ass tsunami. We see that shit fucking impending, dude. And we're like, there's no way you can outrun that. Time to fucking, uh, time to fucking die, you know? So, um, so people get ripped off that plant that's like a bean, like a giant beanstalk or something. And I end up surviving and like, uh, uh, I, I've eaten the dirt pretty bad, uh, s swimming, and I, like, almost broke my neck in a fucking beach swimming accident before. I used to, I have pretty strong legs, and I used to run, and I used to do jump flips in the breakers on purpose, and one day I, like, scorpioned on my fucking right shoulder, and damn near thought I was gonna break my neck, and the first millisecond that shit happened when nature hit me so hard, I thought I was gonna die, and when I end up slammed on the floor... Like, uh, everything in me just told me, hold your breath, and you've been in a likewise situation where the waves will eventually just wash away, and, um, you could just get the fuck up and fucking run before there's another big-ass wave. I don't know if there's an undertow or not. I just fucking know that that shit fucked me up. I didn't, I didn't, other than, unlike how I supposedly sound, I'm not a surfer, I'm not that cool, I never lived by the beach. And I used to dive in, I guess, what they call breakers, because I thought it was a good exercise for professional wrestling. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. Um, so I kind of had that sensation in the dream, and I hope I have enough time left for the story. So um, then all of a sudden, like, we run away from that beach, and we're, like, in this pit. And it's a really, it's a really beautiful scenic place. Like, you know, like grass is green, there's fucking trees, and all we fucking know is we can't, me and a couple bo uh, uh, homeboys and shit, we can't get out of this fucking pit, man. And you could kind of climb this pit, and you get to a fence, and for some fucking reason, the fence, it's like, you know, it's guarded and shit, and for some fu dude, this, I know this doesn't make any sense, it's guarded by, like, ancient Aztec warriors, and these ancient Aztec warriors, I know, it makes no fucking sense, right? These ancient Aztec warriors are cool as fuck, dude. Like, they're deadly, and we gotta hide from them, and they could fuck us up, but it's almost like they know we're there, and they don't care. We're no threat. And, um, they're, like, so brave and so crazy that they don't feel threatened by us at all, and we're, like, no threat to them. And for some reason, they keep, they keep saying, like, fucking Slayer, Slayer. Like, the only way that they talk is, like, like, whatever rounds they're doing, whatever they're doing for work, 
whatever they're fucking guarding or whatever their itinerary is, they're just like, Slayer, Slayer, fucking Slayer, fucking Slayer. Like, jovial and joking. Like, they have no fucking fear. It's another day, and they're just like, fucking Slayer. It's a band, right? Yeah, fucking Slayer. Slayer! Like, like we're trying to peek over this fence, and it's like, like, Slayer! Like, oh, shit, we ducked down. Like, like they're just kind of joking. They're like, dude, like, kind of like, we know we're there, you're there, we'll fuck you up. So, um, yeah, and then, um, that shit at the beach happened, like, a fucking gan, right? And then, all of a sudden, anyway, we're, like, uh, uh, me and a homeboy, we can't get out of this fucking pit, we climb this big-ass hill, and we're looking at a map of all of, like, fucking Mexico and shit, and then, like, like, we, we climb this hill, and we're looking down, and we can see the continent, it's like now Mexico is a continent. Now it's a continent, but it's a map. And then I realized, wait, hold on. How the fuck do we climb so high that we could see the continent? It's not even a continent. It's a country. How can we, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. How the fuck? Why am I looking at the continent of Mexico? Like, I didn't come to my mind. I know Mexico is not a continent. It's a country. But in the, the map, we saw, so I'm not, and I'm looking like... Why am I looking at the continent of Mexico and why does it look like a drawing? And then because when shit finally utterly doesn't make sense, that's when I wake up. And I woke up like, whoa, that was like a fucking movie and a half, man. So anyway, yeah, you know, I don't know if this bored the shit out of you. I had the fucking, um, I grew up with my family don't take pictures and shit. So I don't document this shit. I'm not going to fucking remember it. But uh, it sucks for you that you weren't in my shoes. I was like in a fucking movie, dude. Like, who the fuck else has adventure like that? Yeah, I must be bored out of my mind, right? So anyway, uh, keep on rocking in the free world. And fucking A, dude. Um, check out my other ramblings about sleep paralysis and shit. Uh, take care, man.